Welcome to my video. Here is a 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. This is a diesel truck and I'm going to show you how to remove the front end and front bumper of this vehicle. So first things first, we're going to want to remove our mud flap and we're going to want to remove the fender flare as well. Inside the wheel well to take the flare off, there's going to be T10 Torx screws holding that in. And also behind the flare, as you can see here, there's some plastic clips you really want to avoid breaking. If you can get a plastic tool in behind just to give yourself some eyes on it, then take another pry tool and just push the tabs inwards. There's going to be two on the outside. You might have to go one at a time, then it should just unsnap easily without breaking. Try not to scar up that flare. It's very tricky, I know, but once it's off, you save all the clips, it saves you time later on. But here's a look at the clips. See those two tabs? You kind of want to get those pushed in to release it all. There's all the clips that are holding that flare on, including the screws in the inside. Next up, we got the bumper cover. It's going to be a 7 millimeter head screw holding it in on the corner. And then there's going to be more pushing clips. These ones come out a lot easier. You can kind of just get a, a fork in there and get around the clip and pop it easily. Next up, grill, standard GM push clip, pop the middle out, lift it all up, takes that cover off, Then the grill is held on with 10 millimeter screws up top and then down below kind of by the headlight. It's a very good idea to organize all your hardware so you know exactly where each bolt, each screw, each clip goes so when you're assembling it later it makes it a lot more simple. Headlight, two bolts on the side, on the outside, be one on the inside here, and then two up top. I believe those are 10 millimeter head bolts. As you can see, the grill snaps in. See those rectangular slots? Those are snaps I'll show you here in a bit of where the grill will clip into, and then it's screwed in on top of that. Extra hardware there, 10 millimeter head bolts to get those flaps out if you need to get to your radiator or whatever. Don't forget to unplug your headlights, pull that red tab back, and then there's a black clip you depress, push down, and pull it out completely. Try not to break that red tab, it's what locks it in. From the top looking down, there's going to be 21 millimeter head bolts holding the front bumper on. Then along by the fog lights, I'll show you underneath. You can see there's a 15 millimeter head bolt that's going to hold that side bracket in. And then don't forget to unplug your sensors and be cautious about your block heater cord because that you might have to chase back into your engine bay and find out where it plugs in. But just be careful unplugging everything with that red tab. Don't break it. And that bumper should slide off very easily. And just real quickly, I'm going to show you the clips on the grill. The metal ones are the ones that fit into those rectangular slots. There's plastic clips on the outside. There's four of them. Those unsnap very easily. You can kind of just grab it and grip it and rip it. But anyways, yeah, that's how to remove the front end parts and bumper on a 2021 Silverado.